Hello everyone, welcome to my let's play of Hearts of Iron 4. Uh, today we're going to play uh, Yugoslavia. I've played uh, Yugoslavia a few times and uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, it's pretty challenging because you're kind of a, a medium sized power with a uh, with really strong access neighbors, right? You're you're you're, you're next to Italy, and uh, after like a year or two, when uh, Germany does this onslaught thing where they annex Austria, you you neighbor Germany, and uh, because you're kind of medium sized you you're not the big guys like Germany, Italy or France or United Kingdom. You you're kind of you know, it's challenging to be next to the Axis, which could declare war on you at any point. Um the uh your neighbors are generally other than those two are smaller than you. Well Romania might be bigger than you. Uh, but Hungary, Bulgaria, and Greece are weaker than you. Um, and anyways, let's start the game. And uh, we're gonna play Iron Man because I don't want to deal with saves. Um, and we're not gonna do historical AI focus. And we're gonna play regular difficulty. And the reason why... Oh, oh I gotta choose my country. So Prince Paul's the leader, we're non-aligned. Um, ruling party's regency. Uh, we're gonna, f okay, let's start the game. We're gonna use loco, yeah. We're gonna immediately um, try to uh, conquer Greece. Now I've, because I've played this several times, I know that nobody tries to guarantee Greece. Like if you try to, uh, let's say Bulgaria, right? Prime target, it's a tiny little country with no troops. Like if you look over here, details, they got no troops. 16 max, you've got 22, I believe. So altogether, let's say you, uh, you did this right you've got 22 divisions and they've got 16 max uh, with them they've got the same right they're similar sized but nobody if you if you fabricate a claim right justify war that is uh, against Bulgaria immediately uh, UK and France will jump in and uh, and uh, basically uh, well, what what is that called? Guarantee them, guarantee independence. And uh, with with the uh, Greece, nobody seems to care. Uh, and with Hungary, nobody seems to care. Except Hungary will eventually become allies with the Germans and you don't want to uh, them to uh, become the allies uh, before you you attack them uh, so my plan is to attack Greece first and then Hungary now why Hungary next because Hungary is about the same size as you in terms of their military and there's a tendency for Italy and Germany to uh, send them troops to help them out so when you're fighting them you're really fighting them and a little bit of extra from the two major axis powers so um you don't want to fight them right away or that's how i feel about it i don't want to feel fight them right away it's 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 a tough fight even after uh you've teched up a bit and uh you've gotten a little bigger so the plan is to go for Greece first and then go for Hungary 
Now we're going to do things slightly different. First of all, uh, let's choose tech, right? When we choose tech, so I've all I've been going, you know, what everybody on uh, the YouTubers have been doing, uh, which is construction, basic machine, and uh, electronic mechanical engineer. And what I found is. Um, it, it works okay so uh, it's it's working okay but um, I I want to try something a little different because uh, I just want to try something different to see if I can do do things a little better get get things to work out a little better because there's a couple things that I have problems with once I start war with um, Germany because that's my plan Germany and Italy will eventually either attack me or I will attack them. Um, I've played. My record with that is hasn't been very good. Uh, I usually lost, <laughs> but uh, I've won a couple of times uh, against uh, Germany and Italy. Uh, of course, I end up allying either with the Allies or. Uh, Come intern, which is the uh, the the uh, political group that the uh, Soviet Union starts uh, a faction. You could say it's called a faction. So first of all, let's let's pick tech, and for this, I think I'm going to try to get the. Uh, See, I I've hadn't had much luck with the light tank strategy. Um, I've seen people online playing with the uh, light tank strategy, and it hasn't worked out uh, for me. Um, so we're not gonna do that. What what we can do instead? We're gonna go artillery. We start artillery research right away, um, and we want to do tank research right away or, or or let's see or do we want maintenance maintenance company can come later but uh we want artillery actually we want airplanes we want fighters that's what i i was going to change uh i need fighters to uh do air superiority and um so we're going to try doing these two and then for for that, okay, before we, we did that, we should have gone for the tech faster. But what are we going to do? Production efficiency or construct? Let's do construction speed. And for civilian factories, we're going to start building a military factory right away. We're going to build it. Let's build it in Serbia. And then we're going to build. I, I'm going to alternate. Because, oh, oh no, actually, we're going to go heavy on military factory because I haven't done that before. I've usually gone alternate civilian factory, then military factory, vice versa. I just keep going like that. And, uh, and it's worked out for me, but I want to see if going full out military factory at first will make things better and faster for me like I, I can gear up faster like you start the game behind in uh, equipment uh, I haven't started the game yet so uh, once it starts rolling you'll, you'll be behind by like a whole bunch this says 115 days behind it's not 100 it's over a thousand days behind on equipment so the free dockyards the only thing you can really build well the only thing you care I care about is convoys because it doesn't matter like if you build any of these fleets the, the Italians will will bomb them out of existence it doesn't matter so uh, and really you, you're not gonna have a strong enough fleet to challenge anybody not the Italians for sure uh, not even the Germans I don't think um, and these guys you, you can just 
you know, attack them with ground troops and take what they have. Um, so we want to turn uh, fastest because that's the fastest way to uh, to be able to uh, uh, declare war on somebody. You can't declare war as a uh, non uh, non-aligned, which we are. We're, we're non-aligned currently. Where we have a regency co council, P party ideology is non-aligned, um, and uh, and so we're gonna go try to become fascist first, and uh, and we'll go down this line and become fascist here. Uh, I haven't really tried going communist. Um, because of what I heard, the good things about being fascist, which is true. Um, you don't have any manpower to speak of, and once you get militarism, you you get enough manpower to go to war with uh, with the others. Uh, right now, you have thirty thousand men. That's three more uh, brigades or, or three more divisions, which is not not enough for you to. Uh, to uh, fight the Germans or the Italians, it might you could fight Greece, and it might end up costing you thirty thousand men. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's from ten thousand to uh, and upwards. Uh, so uh, after that, you'd be kind of low on manpower to fight uh, Hungary, and that's keeping what you have and not building more. So um, you're gonna need the manpower. Um, for we have insufficient steel and oil, we're gonna have to import um, steel. So we're gonna trade with the United States. We're gonna trade one factory for uh, steel, and then let's see what we're producing that uses oil. We we have tanks that uses oil. Now here's the thing: is I don't really care about the light tanks. I don't plan on using them. So. I'm not going to ca care about, you know, them using oil and not producing as much tanks as, you know, whatever. So, so we'll just let that go and not sacrifice another factory to doing that. So, um, so this has been a long uh, session, so let's take a break. Uh, thank you for watching. See you soon.